So freaked out. I felt violent for some reason. I don't know why, but I wanted to punch something <laughs> and viciously murder it. Yeah, I feel, I, feel, I feel like I was feeling that. Like, we did an interview just before we went on stage, and I, I was getting that kind of, like, violent yeah. energy from you. Yeah. <laughs> it was Orono's first ever show as well, so... Like, I've, I've played in a few different bands and stuff, but for you, it was, like, your first time. Yeah, like, what, 500, 600 people? Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. I need to murder something before I do this. <laughs> this time, I want to, like, pet a cat before I go. <laughs> I'm a very calm person. She's got really zen. Yep. Yeah, so me and a couple of the others um, who are in Superorganism as well, um, we kind of done various music projects, like uh, different things over the years, and we were playing in a band uh, together in 2015, and we went over to Japan for, I think it was only like 10 days or something, um, and we met Orono in Tokyo. Yeah, and yeah. then we had lunch together the next day. Yeah, we went to the Hard Rock Cafe, <laughs> nice and then we zoo. went to the zoo, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we just kind of became friends in Japan. Orono was home for the summer because uh, she was at school in Maine at the time. Um, so, yeah, it was just a good timing, I guess, at the end of the day. Something for your mind. We, we had like a crazy idea that we'd send like different actors to different interviews each time we did an interview and we'd send like people that just totally weren't us and had nothing to do with the band, didn't even know anything about the band to go down and do interviews and stuff. But then our manager was like, no, 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 guys, you can't do that. Well, I'm not going to allow it. So, yeah, um, really the reason that we kind of kept it quiet for so long was just that we didn't know what the band was going to be. Like we didn't know what we wanted it to be. Um, you know, it all happened so fast from our very first song that uh, we just wanted a bit of time to kind of like figure things out, like figure out who we are without a lot of attention on us personally at first. Um, and so it just kind of happened naturally, really, didn't it? Yeah, it is pretty weird because like, like growing up, I would ask my dad to like whenever he went to the States, I would ask him for copies of Rolling Stone magazine, reading the like, interviews with Vampire Weekend and stuff like that. And, you know, like Rolling Stone picked us as one of their like favorite songs of the year and Enemy did a similar thing and I'm just like, whoa, this is pretty bizarre. Yeah, it's cool though, cause I mean, I love watching interviews with my favorite artists and stuff and I don't think that we're as insightful as Noel Gallagher or whatever yet, but you know, it's always entertaining. I think it kind of is part of being a fan of music, you know, to kind of the artist's thoughts apart. Yeah, loads. I mean, like the Beatles, Kanye, Katy Perry. Weezer. 
Weezer. Pavement. Pavement. There's, there's so many. Like I could keep listing these all day, I think. You know, the Beach Boys. We're all quite similar in that we love pop music, like of any era. And I've said this a few times in the past, but like I kind of see pop music as not bound by genre, which I guess might not make sense at first because pop, it could be seen as a genre in itself. But I kind of see like, I see, a, you know, Cut Your Hair by Pavement. To me, that is a pop song. It's concise, it's three minutes, it's catchy, it gets stuck in your head. And in the same way that California Girls by Katy Perry is a pop song. They've got the same kind of principles at the core, even though stylistically they're very different. And I think that that's something that unites us all. We like stuff from any era that that we could group as pop music. And we're all kind of bound with that. Like we all are very much in agree agreement about that. <laughs> It was uh, for Jules Holland. Uh, we didn't know that he was in the audience until right after the show. I think we would have freaked out if we'd known. And it was Halloween night. Yes. David S. Pumpkins, I was freaking out. It was insane. And Noel Gallagher was playing right in front of us. Yeah, I like to say that because at the end of Jules Holland, they, the, all of the bands jammed together. So that night, we totally jammed with Noel Gallagher in front of Tom Hanks. What the hell? Can On you believe Halloween it? On Halloween night. On Halloween. On Jules Holland. That was amazing. <laughs>